Hi, children of all ages. It is Mr. Bruce here with today's book, which is called Frog and Toad Together. And there's a lot of stories in this book, but we're going to read two of them today because they're kind of small stories. But before we start, eyes watching, ears listening, voice is quiet, buddy calm. All right. This book is called Cookies. Toad baked some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad, and he ate one. And they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, he cried, taste these cookies I have made. Frog ate one and said, these are the best cookies I have ever eaten. Frog and Toad ate many cookies, one after another. You know, Toad, said Frog with his mouth full, I think we should stop eating or we'll be sick. You're right, said Toad. Let's eat just one last cookie and then we'll stop. Frog and Toad ate the last cookie. There were many cookies left in the bowl, as you can see. Frog, let's eat one very last cookie and then we'll put it away. They ate one more cookie. We must stop eating, said Toad after he ate another. Yes, reaching for a cookie. We need willpower, said Frog. What's willpower, asked the Toad. Willpower is trying hard to do something that you really want to do. Mm, you mean not something you really want to do. Right. You mean like trying not to eat all the cookies? Right, said Frog. Frog put the cookies in a box and he said, There, now we'll not eat the cookies. But we can open the box, said the Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog tied some string around the box. There, now we'll not eat the cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box and eat the cookies. Hmm, that is true. Frog got a ladder. He, he put the box up on a high shelf. There, now we'll not eat any more cookies. But we can climb the ladder and take out the box, down from the shelf, cut the string, open the box, and eat the cookies. That is true, said the frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened up the box. Frog took the box outside. He shouted in a loud voice, Hey birds, here are cookies! Birds came from everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad sadly. Not even one. Yes, but we have lots and lots of willpower. You may keep it all, Frog, said Toad. I'm going home now, and I'm going to bake a cake. Goodbye. And that's the end of story number one. Story number two is Dragons and Giants. Frog and Toad were reading a book together. The people in this book are brave, said Toad. They fight dragons and giants. They're never afraid. I wonder if we are brave, said Frog. Frog and Toad look into a mirror. We look brave, said Frog, but are we really brave, he asked. Frog and Toad went outside and tried to climb the mountain. This should tell us if we are brave. Frog went leaping over the rocks and Todd came puffing up behind him. They came to a dark cave. A big snake came out of the cave. Hello, lunch, said the snake when he saw Frog and Toad. He opened his mouth wide and Frog and Toad jumped away. Toad was shaking, but he still said, I'm not afraid. They climbed up higher. They heard a loud noise. Many large stones were rolling down, down, down the mountain. It's an avalanche, he cried. Frog and Toad jumped away. Frog was trembling, but he said, I'm not afraid. They came to the top of the mountain. The shadow of a hawk fell over him. Frog and Toad jumped under a rock and the hawk flew away. We're not afraid, screamed Frog and Toad at the same time. They ran down the mountain very, very fast. They ran past the place where they saw the avalanche. They ran past the place where they saw the snake and they ran all the way to Toad's house. Frog, I'm glad to have a brave friend like you, said Toad. He jumped into bed and pulled the covers over his head. I'm happy to know a brave person like you, said Toad. He jumped into the closet and shut the door. 
Toad stayed in the bed and Frog stayed in the closet. They stayed there for a long, long time, just feeling very brave together. The end. Well, the first book, the hero was Cookies. And the second book, the hero were the frog and the toad. And we never did get to see a dragon, but we saw plenty of toads and frogs. I'll be back tomorrow and read a couple more stories out of this book. Until then, be good to your folks and wash your hands. Bye-bye.